don't know whether it's just because the videos are longer or because whether I'm just doing terribly this time. But we seem to be going through this a lot quicker than the last time. In any case, this is probably not going to help matters. This is going to be a healer, and because he's a healer, he's going to be a gnome. And name. White Mage 5. Begin! And we all know how well White Mages do in my little adventures. He will be a gnome, he will be male, and it will be neutral. Play! It's written in the Book of Hermes, seek the Amulet of Yendor, and we begin in the dark. Okay. We are lucky it's a full moon tonight. We begin with a plus one scalpel, plus one leather gloves, ten apples, we have healing, we have stone to flesh, we have multiple potions, and the importantly, the extra healing potions increase our max hit points, so they'll be important to use early. We have a wand of sleep, a wand of healing, and we have an Uncas medical kit. And a stethoscope. Applying the stethoscope, apply C. Let's check on the dog's hit points. He has 5 hit points, he has AC 6, he is tame, he is level 1. Let us get ourselves out of here though, once we get the gold. Now, for reference, the scalpel is about the most useless weapon imaginable, and that newt might be the only thing we ever kill. So let's eat him. Rotten food, I feel rather lightheaded. If I've killed myself immediately, that would be quite bad. Well, we're no longer confused. I also should not be killing things as a healer. I've already lost my chance to become a pacifist. Oh, carrot. These are important because they heal blindness. And I bump into a door because I'm stupid. Stat-wise, we have 7 strength, 7 dex, 18 charisma, we can buy things relatively cheaply, and we start with a bucket load of money. But will we survive long enough to spend it? Not if that newt's got anything to say. Um, Spartacus, please deal with him. Thank you. Noose is killed. The fountain. Ah! I destroy a cobalt zombie, and I hear some noises, which mostly involve that jackal dying. There's a box, and some more gold. Let's kick open the box. Muffled chatter. Get out of the way. This might take a while, because there's seven strength. Oh, I break the lock. Loot the chest. Take something out. All types. There's some coins in here. And a vellum scroll book we're not going to bother with. We are, however, going to drop... Because with 7 strength we really can't afford to hold too much. All types. Both of those. Now, as for... I meant to put them in. But, oh well. So we have an 8% fail chance of healing, and Stone to Flesh 81% fail chance. And the dog is moving our stuff around. And that would be a zombie. Zombie kobold type thing. Kobold zombie is destroyed. Well done. You're going to have to do a lot of work for us here. I see. Yep, he's gained more hit points, he's gained more power. Not that he has any spells, of course, but... Head around... Dog appears to be moving quite slowly for some reason. Anyway, get over here. Little dog falls into a pit. Not good. Uh... Dog looks better. Okay. Healing the dog, very important. Also, gold. A lot of gold, actually. We're nearly up to 2,000 pieces of it. Door opens, and we reveal a tombstone. There are no valuable items in this grave. Well, take that under advisement, but that's not to say we're not going to try. Little dog eats the corpse. Is there another door there? Yep. Advantage of a reasonable wisdom. Could come with a few more points of it, really. And around here there is an acid blob. Dog? 
Please deal. Meantime, healing that way. Dog looks a little better. Almost out of power. And the dog is splashed by acid. I see. He only has two hit points left. I'm going to have to try this myself. What? The acid blob is fine with me? That's a bit odd. Okay, I'm going to have to think about this then. This place, dog. Supply C that way. Okay, let's just head back and find something else for you to worry about. And we'll come back and get that acid blob. I feel magical energy drain away. It's a shame because I didn't have a lot anyway to begin with. Open door, and we've just gone round. Okay. So nothing here, we're just going to have to continue. And I want this acid blob dead. Also, being without the dog, very dangerous. Q, come on. Acid blob is killed, well done. Just for that, we're going to cast healing at you. And back we go, we get some more gold. And there's some rats on the way. Door opens. We find a potion of extra healing. Nice. Additional hit points, always good. Especially for this thing. Uh, score the things loudly. We attempt to scalpel the rats. I kill the rat! We're up to 10 experience points. Only another uh, load to go, and we can get to level 2. A gecko. Please kill the gecko for us. Meanwhile, I'm going to endeavour to push this boulder. Around we go. Open up. Rabbit! Right, we're going to quash our blessed extra healing potion, which increases our maximum hit points to 17. Okay, so that could have gone better, but extra hit points are extra hit points. And we were down to five. Let's place the dog. Here a door open. Ah! Gnome zombie. Run from the gnome zombie. Run from the... Kill the rabbit. Little dog. Killed the... Yay, excellent. Right, we are hungry, so we're going to have to eat something. This is not going to go well, is it? I need to find something to eat. Rather urgently. And... We can't really eat gnome. Dog. Please come around the corner. Thank you. Down we go. Gnome mines. Probably, duh. Oh, I forgot because we're peaceful to so the things down here. They're all going to be dead. We're going to be clawed. Oh God! All right, down to seven. Down to three. Quash. Nope. Quash extra healing. Hit points go up to nineteen. We're about to be surrounded. We're still hungry, but that's a dwarf zombie over there. We're not going to eat that if we can avoid it. Let's cast healing on ourselves. Dwarf zombie is destroyed. We are weak. Eating zombie flesh is never a good idea. Okay. Right, we've eaten enough apples to get us out of immediate trouble. There's a living gnome over there, and that is a cat. If we go, with a uncursed partly eaten apple, fairly certain if we fire that, the apple misses the kitten. Okay, I'm going to pick that back up. 
Hmm. Did I go to auto pick up back on? Yeah, I might have done. Find out in a moment. Alright. Let's quiver. One of the other types of apples. And let us then fire at the cat. That didn't work. Oh, it might be peaceful anyway, which might be why. Okay. Oi! Oh, fine. As long as you're okay, and we're not. Let's eat that as well. Rotten food. Down we go. Another zombie. This not going well. At the very least, a dog. Are you still? <clears> hmm. <throat> well, dogs and pigs to have improved in size, unless I've gone mad. Kill the hobbit. It didn't drop a corpse. And there's things over there. Dog. I'm going to cast healing on you here. Then I'm going to apply C and just double check. He's level 4, 29 hit points. Name zombie is destroyed. Name zombie is destroyed. Doing okay. A living gnome. Uh oh. Not good. Twelve, five. Quash. Extra healing potion. Twenty one. Five. Oh god, I'm finished, I think. Alright, that's six is up to twenty three. Fifteen. Thirteen. Eight. Gambling. Alright, last extra healing, and unfortunately this is the one we picked up. Feel much better, but we're clawed. What have we got right? Alright. Read. Q. Oh, it was cursed, and now we've lost armor. Alright, that's dead. We're level 2. We are weak. We are praying. Uh... Feel he's well pleased, our stomach is content. The dog has arrived, the dwarf is destroyed. Who oh dear. Okay. Let's cast healing on ourselves. That did not heal us by a lot. That's better. Yeah, all right, we'll put to sleep before we wake up. That is a gnome lord. He's got no problem. Food ration. No, 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 no. Give me food ration. Okay. Right, so the way down must be over there then. And there's a zombie on the way. Oh, and you're asleep, aren't you? That's not good. But zombies do not flee. What kind of sense does that act? does that make? Come on. Ah, excellent. Now please say you haven't just gone back there and gone back to sleep, because that would depress me. Excellent, excellent. Gecko. Please deal with Gecko. Kill the Gecko, we hear noises though. Uh, dog? Yep, I was about to say, I do need you to come back here. Ah, found the way down, but we're caught in a bear trap. What the? Is that a fish? It is a massive badger. Awesome. Also, if I check my items now, it's now cursed as well, a pair of leather gloves. Let's apply C and see what we're doing. 30 of 41 hit points. He's quite tough.
Uh, Giant Badger is killed. Well done. Alright, level 5. Uh, dungeon level 6. We're doing quite well with this character, even though... Ah! The Hobbit's attacking me. Did you go away? I killed the Hobbit. Huzzah! Cursed sling and hooded cloak. Hear some noises. No mummy is destroyed. Destroy the gnome zombie. I don't know what it is, but I suddenly seem competent. Partially competent. Alright, what items do we have? Let's supply N. Right, lamp is now on. Still gonna be wielding our scalpel, of course. Zombie! Zombies destroyed. Double headed axe. You know what? Oh god. I've just hit myself with every cursed weapon going, haven't I? Oh well. At the very least, the axe is a vaguely better weapon, possibly. Please deal with him. Hear some noises. Heal myself. My arms are not free to cast. Oh god, I'm doomed. I think it's the appropriate word here. And that appears to be a chicken. It is a cock. Yeah, cockatrice slash people. Right. If my dog suddenly turns to stone, I will not be impressed. Oh god. Um Right, I'm possibly finished now. With my dog I had a vague chance of I don't know what, maybe I'm not wouldn't claim survival. I had a vague chance of that. That turned out to be a level teleport. Actually let's try it. It is a level teleport trap, and I've just put myself into possibly the worst position. I am alone, hoping that gnomish wizard is going to be strong enough here. I have no idea where my dog is, or even if he's on the same level. Hit my gnome zombie, 11, destroyed. Just out of a random randomness. No. Okay. Clawed, clawed, gold ring, pick up. Right, that wizard might just keep me safe. Pick up the candle. Okay, 10 hit points, 11 hit points. We're back here again. The towel and blindfold. Dwarf's on me. Nine hit points. No dog. Who was actually looking ridiculously tough coming into this. We're level three. There are zombies everywhere. We're quicker than them though. No idea where it is. But the Kill the Right, so now we're here. And, ah! Oh, we missed you. Oh, we missed you. Okay. Dog? Let's not do that again. Lichen. Lichen is food, but it didn't stay here. Kobold. There's gold here. Come on. There we go. Hit large kobold. Large kobold is killed. And you eat the corpse. Right. So if I remember... Okay. Hit the lava. Kill the lava. Larvae. Not sure. Uh, let's heal ourselves. Oh no. I keep forgetting I can't. 
Double-headed axe. I'm probably correct in that it is a better weapon, but... Ugh, dear. Right, that's for gnome mines again. Let's not... Come back here. Let's not quite risk that just yet. Let's instead kill this lichen. Grab the lichen corpse, because that could very well help us in the future. Let's head down here. Where we see a gnome, we see some crude chainmail, we see some gold. FUD. We break the lock. Let us loot... Hmm. Please do not kill... Oh, that, that's fine, I guess, but... Ants. Giant ants. 15, 11, 5. No, that won't work. Quash. Nope. A blessed potion of healing. Let's go with it. It bites. Where's my dog got to? <sighs> I need to get rid of this axe. There are only two ways it can be gotten rid of. Remove curse. Run. No, seriously, run. I'm on the move for gas spores. If you turn out to be vaguely peaceful, I will be surprised, and no, we're running from that. Into some maggots. Maggot bites. Mr. Maggot. We kill the maggot! We are now level 4. We are hungry. Let us eat our lichen corpse. Thanks, terrible. Finish eating. Yeah, we need something to either steal it or roof. Oh god, that's got multiple legs. This place. Roof is killed, and you quite rightly eat it. Is that me? Gas cloud. Oh, there's a. Uh. Yeah. This is this was expected before we apples. Oh, it's an orange. Yeah, clearance level has gone up. Rest in peace. Very normal, um, very normal message there. We're beginning to feel hungry again. We do have a food ration. Let's try it. And that really hit the spot. Okay. Down we go into a closed area. 127 gold pieces. See if we can't find the exit. Aha! There we go. Door is locked. So kick of the door, it crashed. Oh, I basically managed that with seven strength. But apparently it crashed open. And we found the way down. Now there is some splint mail. And that's another dog. Right, let's quiver. Nope. Quiver, question mark. Oh, bleh. Give me the list. Let's toss the orange at him. The orange misses the dog. They want meat, don't they? I don't have any meat. Uh, dog? Please deal with dog. Meanwhile, I will pick up my orange again. Now there is some interesting things we can do now. I think we've got enough power to do it, and also our failure rate isn't too bad. Arms are not free to cast. Ah! I wanted to show this trick off last time, but basically you can turn those um, boulders into large slabs of meat. And in fact, you can turn small rocks into small little meatballs. Which is a good way of getting food sorted out, and I saw that. Please don't be a shopkeeper's place. Yes. Right. 
A wire ring, scroll of yum yum, a pickaxe, shop door mysteriously reappears. Let us um, get ourselves out of here. Meanwhile, I should really have paid attention to that because that would have told me it was closed. Meanwhile, did you steal anything? Nope, you did not steal anything. Okay. Please kill. Please kill. Some noises. Water Nymph is killed. So that gives a yellow potion and a looking glass. Which we shall take. Oil lamp flickers. Oh, we should have turned that off a while ago. So apply that. Lamp is now off. I suppose what I can do as well. Check. No, oh, I've got no free hand. Ah! Why did I have to take the big, impressive looking axe we can't use? House cat. House cat bites. Scalpel. House cat is killed. Okay. Did you know what? The nymph could have stolen it as well. Thinking about this. We're going to need to find some way to get out of this mess. Is there anything there? Yep, eventually. There's a dwarf. Is the dwarf friendly? I've got no feeling they are. Yeah. Okay, come on. D down we go. Ah! I hear the sounds of civilization. Well, that might not be a good thing. Let's see what happens. Yeah, because our dog is significantly larger, I think. And also I've got the advantage of being able to go and zap him if needed. And in fact, no, I can't do a zap him like that, but I can zap this at him. Hey, the large dog is killed. Well then. Now, last time we died because we upset a friend room. I've got an odd feeling that might be what the sound of civilization is. Or it's a civilization. Okay. Yep, it is the sound of civilization. Sounds civilized, alright. Please don't kill the. So, it is a town. That'll be a human thief over there, I'm fairly certain. Human or elf mugger. Okay, that's got boots and things. There's a baby red dragon. Uh, zap. Nope, zap. I doubt it'll... Um, large dog looks a lot better. No, I can't attack the watchman. No, I should have healed myself. Why the dog attacking watchman? Why are you eating watchman? Still, we have things there. Which might be worth curse testing. Dog? What the... That's a gremlin. It's a leash general store type thing, and I see you. Yeah, we're getting slightly desperate with our item usage now. Ah, oh, why did I... Wrong one. You're supposed to go that. There. Now you're asleep. We're asleep. Did you take the axe? No, I didn't see what you took. Dog. There's a dragon over there. I'll be honest. I think we want to um, come back here. Up we go. There's a dwarf. You can go and kill the dwarf if you want. Dwarf is killed. Several objects. 
Uh, axe, uh, broad shot sword, nothing we particularly want, I don't think. Unless he took something, I guess. Come on. Alright. Well, this video has gone on for a fair amount, so I shall stop it here for now. We've done quite a lot of running away, but so far, not dead yet, which is a surprise. So, until next time.